Hey, what's up Aquamigos? How are you guys doing today? So in last week's video or the week before that, I don't exactly remember, but I mentioned that mini pond season is officially over. Here's the mini pond right here. Um, I took all the guppies out of here. They're back indoors. And actually what I want to do today, check this out, is I want to make a mini indoor pond. I've seen several people on YouTube do this and it's always kind of been something that I wanted to try myself. So check this out. I have this blue tub right here. I've seen a bunch of people make these mini ponds out of these. So that's what I'm going to use. And then over here I have two cinder blocks behind that. I just went and hosed everything off like a little while ago. So they should be pretty much dry. So yeah, let's go ahead and bring these indoors and I'll show you where I'm gonna set this up. All right guys, so now we're inside. Let me just show you guys where I'm gonna set this up. I'm gonna set it up right here next to this window. So right here is where I'm thinking. I put these rags down on the ground because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the cinder blocks on top of those. Then I'm going to sit this whole thing on top of the cinder blocks because I actually want this thing to be a little bit higher up off the ground just so that I can still vacuum the bottom of it with a siphon. So that's why I want it to be a little bit higher up than the ground just so I can still siphon it in case you didn't know I don't actually have any power outlets along this side of the of the wall of course But I figured out how I'm going to get electricity to here. It's going to be somewhat of a mission But I bought an extension cord and actually let me show you guys what I bought all right guys, so this is what I bought right here. I bought two power taps and an extension cord, 35 feet. And this is what I'm going to do to get power to my indoor pond tub. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run power from all the way over here where my 20 gallon tank is. So my 20 gallon tank is right here. The power outlet is right there. So I'll have the extension cable go straight up this wall and I'll have it go over my bathroom. My bathroom is on the other side of this wall and I'll have it go along these beams at the top. So it'll go along those beams and then I'll have it come down somewhere over here and then come down and then make its way to the tub right here, most likely behind that desk. So actually the main thing that I want to do with this tub is I want to attempt to overwinter some of my floating pond plants so that they don't die off during the winter. So my water lettuce, my water hyacinth, I'll try to get a few healthy ones, put them in this tub and hopefully they'll make it. And then I also want to keep some guppies in there. I think that would be pretty cool as well. So of course I will be heating it. So I have this aquarium heater right here. It might look like it's a very small aquarium heater. I mean, it is only 50 watts, but this is the same heater that I have in my 15 gallon tank and also my 20 gallon tank. And believe it or not, this tub right here, it might look like it's pretty big, but it's only about 19 gallons. So I know that that heater will be totally fine in this tub. It's actually also the type of heater that has a thermostat on it. I really like how those work. As for the filtration, I'm going to try to use the same filtration that I have in the mini pond right now. It's the DIY filter that I made. I think it worked pretty well in the mini pond, so I'm just going to have to modify it a little bit so it's not quite as loud because I do sleep in here, so I don't want it to be keeping me up at night. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab those cinder blocks and then we can get started. All right, guys, so there we go. That's the basic idea. I mean, the only thing we really got to do now is get the filtration in there, connect the electricity. And one other thing that I forgot to mention is I do want to get lighting for this because this will only get lighting for like part of the day. And I don't know if that will be enough for the plants. So I am thinking about getting lighting for this, like some grow lights for those plants. So I think the next step is going to be getting the electricity over here. All right guys, so I got the power cable down here now. I have it, I'm lucky I was able to find a white cable because I think it blends in pretty well with the ceiling. And of course it goes all the way to the other side of here, behind here, and plugged in right here. I just wanna give this a little bit more slack. 
There we go. I think that's that should be good. I think that should be okay. And I'm gonna get rid of all this stuff on this desk that's like way too messy right now. But let's go ahead and uh, I think fill this up with water first or at least part of the way and then we'll get the filtration in here and get it going. All right, that should be good for now. Let's go ahead and get the filtration in here. So in case you haven't seen the video where I made this DIY filter, basically what it is is I have a pump in here. The pump is at the bottom of this planter right here and I blocked off all the holes with plastic bags. Then I put in these lava rocks which will serve as the biomedia. So water gets sucked through the top of the planter, passes through the biomedia which is the lava rocks and then the filter, or sorry, the pump shoots it back out the top and I actually just attached a hose because I believe the hose will make less n noise than that fountain attachment that I had on here before and so that's why I attached the hose instead of that fountain attachment that I used to have on here. All right guys, so the uh, filtration is in there and at the very bottom, I don't know if you guys could see them, there are a ton of scuds down there. My guppies are gonna go crazy for those eating them up. All right, so there we go guys. Um, maybe I could, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna put this. All right guys, so this is what it's looking like right now. Um, you know, I had to do some trial and error. It ended up not really working out with the hose because when you use the hose, you're not able to regulate the flow like you can when you have the fountain attachment. So what I did is I actually just took off the bottom part of the fountain attachment, which had the, the flow regulator. It's just like a little knob that you can turn and it controls like how much flow comes out through the top of the filter. The output is actually underneath the water and it kind of just like makes these little ripples up at the top. And basically the way that this filter kind of works is it's more or less like a sponge filter. Um, and since I, 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 like, I honestly probably took apart this filter like three or four times just now. So the water got quite a bit cloudy from me doing that. So I'm probably gonna have to do a water change. So the water is a bit cloudy right now. But uh, yeah, I wanna go ahead and hook up the heater and put like one or two plants in here for the time being, just to see how it works out. So yeah. Alright guys, so there we go. It's more or less finished. I went ahead and put in some plants as you can see. I want to see how they do indoors uh, without a light for now. Maybe they will get enough light here. I'm really just not sure. Hopefully that heater will also keep the water warm enough for them as we get more into the winter. And also being indoors, it'll be, you know, significantly warmer than it was outdoors. Actually, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to insert some shots of it tomorrow morning so you guys can get an idea of how it looks when we're getting that natural sunlight from outdoors. So anyways guys, I think that's gonna be just about it for this video. I do have two shout outs. I have one shout out for Hope Stubbs. 
thank you so much Hope for being an Aquamigo, I really appreciate that. And I have a shout out for Tay Lupe Gaming, AKA Joshua Santos. Thank you so much for being an Aquamigo, I really appreciate the support. If you would like a shout out in next Friday's video, all you have to do is go down to the comments below and comment I am an Aquamigo and I will give you a shout out in my next fish video. I post new fish videos every Friday. They're usually on my ponds, aquariums, or just fish keeping in general. So if that sounds like something that you might be interested in, you definitely want to hit that subscribe button. And if you did like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you went down there and gave this video a like. That would help me out so much. And once again, if you'd like to see more videos by me in the future, make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button. Button and also hit that bell notifications button. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I'll go ahead and put my handle right here. It's at YT underscore Tobias. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Peace.